Alright, in this video I'm going to give you my predictions for the 9709 Stats 1 paper for February March 2025. I've also created a full Cambridge style guest paper with a Cambridge style marking scheme or if you hate marking schemes like I do. I've also created detailed solutions with explanation as well as a video of me solving the guest paper. But we'll talk more about that later in the video. For now, like the video, subscribe and let's go through my predictions. We're going to go through this topic by topic and try to predict what types of questions could come. So starting off with representation of data, this one's always a tricky one to predict because there are four different representations of data that could come. That's your stem and leaf diagram, box and whisker plot, histogram, accumulative frequency graphs, and occasionally the coded data question could also come. The reason why it's so difficult to predict is, as mentioned above, it has a lot of variety and Cambridge only tends to bring one representation per paper and they tend to change this up each exam series. Looking at the last five February papers, three of them had accumulative frequency graph. So if I had to guess, I'd say you're getting accumulative frequency graph in this February paper. But then again, in February 2024, a histogram came instead. So it could go either way. But as you see in the guest paper, I'm leaning more towards cumulative frequency graph. Solely because it's come more frequently in February papers than histograms. But just make sure you're prepared for both. For permutations and combinations, it's not so much of a prediction. You already know that you're going to get some sort of arrangements and some sort of combination. Yet, ironically, this always proves to be one of the more difficult questions in Stats 1. It's not a very straightforward topic, it's difficult to understand, so it does make sense. My advice would be to do a lot of permutations and combinations questions. That way you start to see the types of questions that can come up under this topic and you also start to recognize patterns. And if you do this, I'm confident then your performance in this topic will improve. I do have topical questions for permutations and combinations on my website gca level maths 9709.com. There's a link in the description. For probability, expect three diagrams and conditional probability to come. This is the most frequent question under this topic. It comes up in almost every paper. So make sure you're good with that. It's been a while since we've seen a dedicated independent events question, but it's not a difficult concept, so brush up on that. Discrete run Random variables is arguably the most valuable topic in stats 1 which is to say is the topic that carries the most marks in stats 1. The reason is that it has three types of questions that come up without fail in every paper. That's the binomial distribution, the geometric distribution as well as the probability distribution table. Make sure you have a good understanding of all those concepts because they are definitely coming. Of the four topics we've talked about so far, if you had to only pick one to study, I'd pick this one because it consistently averages over 10 marks per paper. Finally, we have the normal distribution, which is the only topic that competes with the discrete random variables for most marks per paper. Here you're likely to get your textbook normal distribution question that requires you to find some probability. This is the foundation of the normal distribution and I would be very disappointed in you if you went into the exam without knowing how to solve this question. Apart from the textbook question, you should get comfortable with the normal approximation question. This question comes up in every paper and it always comes with five marks so make sure you've got that down otherwise you're sacrificing a good five marks there's also the question that requires you to find the standard deviation and or mean polish up on that as well so before we talk about the guest paper let me summarize everything and give you a list of questions you should prioritize for the stats 1 2025 fib paper cumulative frequency graph or histogram one of the two is definitely coming arrangements combinations tree diagrams and conditional probability probability, binomial distribution, geometric distribution, probability distribution table, textbook normal distribution, and normal approximation. Now using a lot of the ideas and predictions I have discussed in this video, I created a guess paper. It has a lot of similarities with the actual paper that you will write in February. I've made it in such a way as to make it feel like the actual exam paper and it has that Cambridge feeling. The questions themselves look like Cambridge questions. The idea is for it to be the exam before the exam, to give those who use the guest papers an unfair advantage going into the exams. And apart from the full Cambridge style guest paper, I've also created a full Cambridge style marking scheme for those who want to really mark their guest papers accurately as Cambridge would, to get an accurate representation of how they could perform in the final exam. However, I do appreciate that not everyone understands or even wants to use our marking scheme. They just want to know if their answer is correct and if not, where they went wrong. 
So I've also created a worksheet with detailed solutions for all the questions in the guest paper and you also get a full video solution of me solving all the questions in the guest paper. So if you are ready to collect that A star that I am handing to you on a silver platter, feel free to purchase the guest papers on my website. That will be the first link in the description. And if you want to see a sample of what the guest papers look like, you can see the October-November 2024 guest papers I created listed for free on my website. For schools interested in guest papers, you can fill out the respective form on my website. The link to that is also in the description. That's it for this video. Like the video, subscribe and see you next week for more guest papers.